Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to lead you through a 15 minute slow abs workout. So this workout has some stretching or yoga involved and also some core work. We're combining the two together in this slow and controlled 15 minute routine. You don't need any equipment for this. There's no repeats, so make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, we're first gonna start off on our backs. We're going to focus on our breath here for the beginning of this workout. Nice, deep breaths. As you exhale, you're going to walk those feet out all the way down as you press that lower back into the floor. Hold, and then as you inhale, bring those feet back up. Good, we're taking a 10 second rest. We're going to stay here on our backs. Next up, we're gonna do some slow reverse crunches. So, legs start out. You're going to press that lower back into the floor. Bring those knees up. And then you're going to slowly lower yourself down. Control, use that core. And then extend those legs. So really roll through the spine as you extend those feet out. Good, again, staying here on our backs. Next up, we're gonna do some slow wipers. So feet come up, arms are out directly beside you. You're gonna drop your knees down one way, feel the stretch in that back, hold here, and then you're going to press that core into the floor and lift those knees back up to center, and then we're gonna drop the other way. Don't forget about that core as you bring those legs up. That's what should be driving those knees up and back to center. Good, we're staying here on our backs. Next up, you're going to bring each leg in, pull that knee as close as you can into your face, and then stretch that bottom leg, reach those toes to the opposite wall, and switch. Good, next up, we are holding. You're going to hold at the top, count to four, and then you're going to extend and hold at the bottom, count to four. Don't forget to breathe, focus on your breath. Thank you. 
Good, all right. Sitting up, legs are extended. We are lifting one leg and twisting. You can grab that big toe if you want. You're gonna feel that stretch in the back of that leg. But also I want you to think about that core as you raise that leg up. Try to have a nice flat back and reach that heel to the opposite wall. Good. All right, next up, we are coming into a reverse bridge position. And you are reaching, reaching those fingertips to the back wall, coming back down and in between. You're going to extend and hold for two, then bring it up and reach back toward the other side. Good. All right, next up, we're just gonna keep it nice and simple, just doing some straight leg crunches. But I want you to flex those feet, send those heels to the sky so you really feel that stretch behind the legs. Press that lower back into the floor and reach those fingertips up behind the knees. Keep those legs nice and straight. Don't forget to flex those feet. Good, all right, staying on our backs. You're going to open arms and legs into a star position, and then you're going to press that lower back and squeeze everything up toward the center. Out, extend, and up toward the center, press that lower back into the floor. Reach those fingertips and those toes to each four corners of the room, feel nice and long, and then squeeze everything as you come up toward the center. Good, flip it over into plank. We are going nice and slow here. You're bringing one knee to opposite elbow. Hold for four. Back to center and then you're gonna push into a down dog position. Feel the stretch in those heels. You can pedal it out, count to four. Back to center plank, hold. And opposite knee. Two, three, four. Back to center and push back.
Good, all right, flip it back over onto your bones. We are almost there. Next up, we are sitting back, almost as if you were doing a Russian twist, but the arms are gonna be nice and long, and you're sweeping, coming back to the back corner of your mat, and then other side. back on our backs. You're going to do a full sit up with straight legs. So arms are up, you sit up, and then as you flex your feet, you're going to forward fold as far as you can, and then control down. Sit up, forward fold, and roll through the spine all the way down. Next up, you are going to flip into a bear crawl position. So back is flat. You're going to tap either knee, and then you're going to come and do a cat cow. So extend, arch that back, look up to the ceiling, and then come back up into the cat position, back to center. Tap, tap, arch, other way. Back to center. Make sure you're engaging those abs as you come into the cat position. And then back to center, keep that back nice and flat. Nice work, flip it over onto your booties. Next up, we are just pulsing. For 50 seconds, you're going to hold an ab pulse. So sitting back, just focus on your breath. Keep the tension on the core. Last minute, we're gonna stretch it out. We're going to move from cobra pose into child's pose. So from here, you're rolling through the spine, coming down, arching that back. Feel the stretch in those hip flexors and those abs. You can take this as slow or as fast as you want.
slowly roll up. And that is it, guys. Great job. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this slower paced core workout. If you enjoyed this style and you'd like to see more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.